said, hey, this Scott Parr, uh, we just got through smoking these wings for about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna do about a minute flash fry. We're gonna take them out. Uh, and then we're gonna go sauce them down and try to pick out the best 12 wings that, for the judges. Got a little heat in it, a little cayenne, just to just to give it a little bit. The uh, uh, the sauce that we're going to dunk it in. It's uh, it's some honey, barbecue, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of heat. So hopefully it it it'll be exactly what the judges are looking for. My name is Jeff Harvey. Uh, I've been on the Willinghams team for about 10 years now. And in fact, I think one of the first years I came was the first year you uh, cooked with us a long time ago. But anyway, um, I got the privilege last year of, um, uh, they introduced a new meat at Memphis in May, which was turkey. And so uh, last year for the inaugural year, um, I pulled a ninth place, so top 10 finish with uh, the turkey jalapeno meatballs and they have smoked gouda on the inside. And uh, so it's kind of what I'm trimming up right now. I like to get them cold and then I'm able to kind of shape them uh, and size them the way that I want. And then I kind of put them in the middle and sort of uh, encapsulate around them. Our turn-in box uh, sent away. And so I kind of wanted to show sort of what the final outcome was of our little effort here to make uh, jalapeno turkey meatball. So I've already went ahead and cut one in half. So. You know, here's what the effect that we were trying to go for in the middle was with the smoked gouda in the middle. And then we had the Parmesan shake that was on the outside. And uh, I actually did a couple variations just to see what I think was more aesthetically pleasing. Um, I did this turn in last year, which was just a plain meatball with the same glaze that I actually included in the that they could use as a dipping for, for this version, but I actually had applied the glaze last year. So same sort of uh, idea of having the uh, Gouda cheese on the inside, and, uh, and uh, but with no shake on the outside. We have some um, seasoned meat, and uh, Jeff's gonna make a swine apple here. We have a pineapple, and he's uh, using the grooves that I cut. All right, swine apple is gone into the pit. We're gonna cook using an offset. Pit. This is the one of the original ideas for an offset pit made by John Willingham about 30 40 years ago. It's patented, so this turbo wham cooker was made especially, you know, for John Willingham. Here we got pellets on this side, here, and a uh, little oven here. It set the uh, time thermostat for the tower, it flows out in here through the chamber right there, and it goes in and fills up the chamber. You're gonna get an absolutely, absolutely gorgeous meat here. And it goes out through the top on this rack right here on the exhaust. So this is the book that started my barbecue journey, John Willingham's World Championship Barbecue. It's a book that came out in 1996. While I was uh, done with Texas Tech, learning how to cook barbecue, I consulted on John's book and uh, that got my start right here. So this is the ground zero for me. It's been an honor and privilege to be able to be able to cook on the Willingham team, be part of the journey that John Willingham started. And it's a wonderful, wonderful legacy of the man, the legend, the barbecue pit master. Here's how I do my box. It's a simple box with a little hollow in the center with lettuce and tomato. We're gonna plate it five pieces by five pieces. So it's a 25 cube square. 
you notice how it's lined up with the uh, paper towels here so that I don't have to clean after I plate in case there's any sauce that ends up on the lettuce and I pull everything away it's ready to go I do have some extra ones here on the lid the lid will be used to clean and after that we pull all of this paper in one fell soup away making sure there's no foreign object and we send this to the judging tent guacamole that's going on it a little there's all the cheese that's going on it a couple things of shrimp because we really want the chicken to stand out not the shrimp so you got to be careful in your ratios when we're laying this out for the 2022 Memphis and Bay World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest in the shoulder division, Sweet Swine of Mine. In the hog division, Blues Hall. And in the rib division, Heath Riles Barbecue. It's time to crown the 2022 Memphis and Bay World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest winner. $25,000, the biggest trophy in the park tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Blues Hall! Oh, Tip of the day. This is Willingham's Barbecue live from Memphis in May. When you have a 94 plus degree humid barbecue competition, make sure you get yourself an ice merchandiser so that you can keep your awesome teammates nice and cool and ready to cook. Ooh, this feels Ooh. wonderful. This feels wonderful. This feels great. And you guys can come out just as soon as we're ready to do those shoulders. Just to hang out for a little bit. <laughs> you guys, Sounds great. I need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Pot's Barbecue, Willingham's Barbecue tip of the day. Woohoo!